how will the electrification of transportation affect global oil demand, particularly between now and 2030? So what we have been tracking for a long time is when do you get material oil displacement from electric vehicles? And right now, the total electric vehicle fleet of all types is displacing, and that's buses, commercial vehicles, passenger vehicles, and two and three wheelers. It's displacing about 2 million barrels per day. Most of that in the past up to now has been driven by two and three wheelers and buses, but passenger cars is becoming quite big or becoming material in the next little while as well, because you've now got sort of 60, 70, 80 million passenger EVs on the road globally by the end of this year. We think um, that global road transport oil demand peaks around 2029. And, and that's mostly just based around this fact that combustion vehicle sales peaked um, in 2017. But we're now uh, eight years past that peak. And that will start to flow through to the fleet. So the combustion vehicle fleet will keep growing for another few years. Then it'll be about 10 years since that peak of sales. And then the combustion vehicle fleet starts to come down towards the end of the 2020s. And that really leads to a peak in gasoline and diesel demand. That's different from a peak in total oil demand because you can still have things like aviation, shipping, petrochemicals, and other areas still growing. But the part I'm very focused on is road transport. 